Recently I have been consuming Star Wars comics like air, and I came across an absolute gem called Darth Vader The Shooter on War. And I subsequently felt the need to talk about it to my lovely viewers. Thank you for 33 subscribers, by the way. Anyway, Darth Vader The Shooter Run War is actually the third book in the Star Wars Darth Vader series by Marvel. In it, the Imperial-controlled planet of Shooterun is threatening rebellion and Darth Vader is sent to quell its rebellious leadership. Now, due to the fact that I have not been reading these comics in order, I was only just introduced to some of the characters in the series upon reading The Shooter and War. Now, let's start off with Triple Zero and BT, since they are by far my favorites. These two droids are basically the equivalent of an evil C-3PO and R2-D2, which I find absolutely hilarious. They are also pretty gutsy since at one point they went against the wishes of Darth Vader himself and got away with it. Next up, I found the character of Aelin Astarte very interesting. She and her twin brother Morit were cybernetically enhanced and trained in lightsaber combat so that they could prove rival to even the power of a Jedi or Sith, despite neither of them having any Force sensitivity. Apparently as a youngling, Aelin was quite interested in the tales of the Jedi, and later when she was working alongside Darth Vader on Shoe to Run, she asked him to train her, which Vader said no to. And speaking of Vader, he's a total badass, but no surprise there, right? Moving on, one of the other characters I wanted to address was Queen Trios. As the youngest in the Shuturan royal family, she had no ambition for leadership, and was even willing to go so far as to sacrifice herself to play her part in her people's rebellion. Instead, after the death of her family, Vader appointed her as the new leader, and she soon came into her own striving to fulfill the roles left vacant by the Imperial Purge, and fighting alongside Vader to unite her people under her rule. Lastly, this comic does a good job of setting up Dr. Silo as a future rival to Vader. Silo, a cybernetic specialist responsible for the training of the Astarte twins, is essentially trying to immortalize himself through cloning, and is using his influence among Imperial forces as well as his scientific prowess to prepare to cause the Empire a lot of trouble. Anyway, before I close off, I just wanted to give a shout out to Star Wars Audio Comics. I will link their channel in the description below. They have done an absolutely amazing job bringing some of the Star Wars comics to life, and I would suggest you check them out. Anyway, that's all I have for you today, so if you enjoyed, please give the video a like and check out some more of my content. I'm your alibi, and I will see you next time.